Hello friends, this video on human eye and the colorful world part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 3 before going ahead with part 4. So with this we finish our topic on human eye. So we have seen how what, what, what is the structure of the human eye, how does each of the part of human eye functions and what are the various types of defects of vision. So now we will talk about another new thing called prism. So we will see how refraction takes place by prism. In our last lesson we talked about refraction by lenses. Right? We saw how refraction takes place by lens. Now we will see how refraction takes place by prism. So before that we should know what is a prism. Prism is a transparent optical element with flat polished surfaces that refract light. You would have seen these prisms in your uh, school laboratories. It is made up of glass but the structure looks somewhat like this. It has got two triangular surfaces and two other somewhat rectangular surfaces. So it has got two triangular surfaces and three somewhat rectangular surfaces and all of them are transparent and they and each of these surfaces are capable of refracting light. I am not talking about a reflection here, I am talking about refraction. So refraction here will take place because there is a change in medium because this, this is made up of, the prism is made up of glass. So the change in medium is encountered when a light ray enters from air to the prism. That is, it changes its medium from air to glass. Similarly, when it goes out of the prism, it changes the medium from glass to air. Right? So now let us look at some of the terminologies related to a prism. So there are certain terminologies related to a prism. The first one is incident ray. So now we will see how refraction takes place through a prism. So here you can see this is the ray of light which strikes the prism. So this becomes my incident ray. Right? Then what happens? When this incident ray, I mean when this ray of light enters from medium 1 to medium 2, this is made up of glass, right? So this is, this has got a different refractive index. So what will happen? A refraction takes place. Since it is entering from a rarer medium to a denser medium, what will happen? The ray will bend towards the normal. So this is the normal because it is perpendicular to this surface. So now, you see that instead of going like this, it bent like this. So this is my refracted ray. So this is the refracted ray. Then the third one is the emergent ray. That is the ray which comes out of the prism. Again from here to here the light is the light ray is again moving from a denser medium to rarer medium. So it will undergo refraction that is the ray will move away from the normal. So this was the normal so it moves away from the normal. So this is my emergent ray, right? Similarly, we have something called angle of deviation. What is angle of deviation? Angle of deviation is that angle by which the incident ray gets deviated because of the prism. Let us suppose if there had been no prism, in that case, what would have been the direction of incident ray? The incident ray would have gone straight like this, right? If there were no prism. Now since prism is there, what is the direction of the ray which is coming out of the prism? The ray is this one. So that means instead of this direction, now the ray got deviated to this direction because of the presence of this prism. So the angle formed by this emergent ray with the incident ray is known as the angle of deviation. So the angle by which the ray gets deviated, the incident ray gets deviated because of the presence of the prism is known as angle of deviation and it is generally denoted by delta. There is something called angle of prism. Angle of prism is this angle. This angle of the prism is known as the angle of prism. So these are some of the terminologies which will be helpful as we go ahead and study more about prism. Right? So in prism, there is always an incident ray, a refracted ray and an emergent ray. The angle which the emergent ray makes with the incident ray is known as the angle of deviation. And every prism has an angle of prism which is characteristic of itself.
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.